Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Um, a lot happened, but a lot didn't happen. We are slowly moving around this map. <laughs> um, I don't feel as overwhelmed as I did in this area, but we found the gnomes, and they want to blow up the Gondians, and I don't even know who the Gondians are, but we shall find out. Uh, we don't want to blow them up. Maybe there's a peaceful solution. Um, we also found Astarian's, um... Why are you emanating darkness, Astarian? Is it because of this? Hmm? His stuff moved. Why did his stuff move? I know I respect him, but like... Yeah, that's fine. Um, we found no two of the Starin's brothers and sisters, and um, it almost didn't end well. We had to convince um, a Starin to release his brother. What in the heck? Okay, I feel like I'm gonna get overwhelmed easily again looking at this. This place is just really congested. Um, I do want to. Check out these, um... Careful, I mind. These chests, but I don't know... Ready or not. Like, maybe a star and sneak is high enough that he, um... Can just stay hidden? Where's his stealth? Plus 12. Hopefully so. I won't oh no, you got seen? Look at you. Dude, a dark vision. Let's talk no one to back him. home will ever believe this. Seems like a good moment to talk. Now, what do you reckon, lass? You trust these steel watcher thingy jigs? I trust them about as far as I could throw them. Oi, I second that. It's all right where well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Uh, it's no good, I tell you. Mm. Trust no one. Let's keep to the shadows. Let's try to do this quick. And if a patron could be for a member of staff, why can't I lockpick? Oh no, did we not? Yeah, we have them. Why can't I lockpick? That was weird. Wasn't it? Bro, just... Unless he rolled double nat ones, I think he would have gotten that easily. I don't think he cares that much. What's in here? Come on, Astarim. Work it. Sorry, I feel no remorse for stealing from people right now. <laughs> Even though it's been it's been really hard for everyone. Ooh, what was that? I guess he doesn't care. Like I'm sneaking, but he's like, whatever. Fucking two, Asarin. It's got private rooms, music, and all round pleasant folks, from what I've heard. He's coming in here? Confuses me for a member. Oh, yeah, I forgot we had a note. Oh, did I send it back? Shit, we had a note. Right. What now? 
that I meant to read about um, Raven Guard, his father. Watch your back. No, 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 go back to sleep. Watch the shadows. This one's gotta be a little harder to uh, steal from. Because I'm pretty sure he, like, walks this way a lot. Time for discretion. Even with a 2, he still rolled like a 19. Whatever's behind that lock, it's <sighs> yeah. Is to keep watch. I know you have. I don't mind this. Honestly, when I do, it means we're getting a real. What? I get the Yankee. Where is Kipper Voss? Is he like next door? That's funny. Is there anything? Well, now he's gonna be watching me. Still breathing, despite everything. What if they build a machine that can drink points? But <laughs> after bloody city out of jobs, that. Yeah. How delicious. That would be bad for them. I don't know what Voss is doing over there, but he needs to chill. Go. Probably break his When you met the drought. Just like not Oh shit. How can he see me? Oh, he can just. Oh, it's like a counter. That makes sense. One step at a time. <laughs> she says, in price, none of them has sticky fingers. It's me. I have the sticky fingers. How he just know? It's upsetting me. Oh, 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 no, 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 do that. He's about to go up a ladder. Just like all the time. I'm here. I won't let any. Can't give up now. How much farther can I go? And he saw me. Yes, let's. Honestly. Well, I do. Which means we're getting a real Go quick, Astarin. Come on, please. Oh, oh. <laughs> Not everyone subscribes to what Fuck. is mine is yours, it seems. Please come it over here. Two more chests. And we'll be okay. <laughs> Come on, go fast, Star, and please roll faster. Oh my God. Shit. Whatever's behind that lock, it's being watched. <laughs> we, just, we just need to open it. Never a dull moment. What has he gotten? Like, we got diaries. Ten rolls of Baldur's Gate. 
Listen, the potions are worth it. And then you had some food? I won't let anything happen. Right, you deserve to come in. Banana. I don't mind it. We didn't take care of- oh. I could try. Is I, didn't I thought I unlocked this one. Right a couple turns should do it. Listen, it's got Is he just gonna be watching us, Darn? Moving. I can be subtle sometimes. Uh -huh. better boots. Which one was it? This one. Okay, <clears throat> let's do some reading. Dear sis. Rosanna, you did it. You actually did it. You're out there seeing the world, chasing your dream, finally going on a real adventure. I can't wait until the first bard comes to the village singing about you and the deeds you've done. That's my sister, that is. I can tell them, and then they'll tell me about all the dragons you slayed and the princess you rescued. I'm just glad you didn't listen to Dad. I know he means well, but why be a tanner when you can be a hero? And you're going to make a fine hero. I know it. Just stay safe out there, sis. It's a dangerous business of entering, and I want you to make it back to us in one piece. I love you, Tricia. Yes, tell me you got rid of Drem, though. The boy's sharp as a spoon, but not half as useful. Oh my god. And then we have what this is. With the dust of their journey still clean to boot and cloak, the candy traveler will no doubt seek to secure accommodation within the city post haste. Below are some establishments that are typical of what the city has to offer. The Blade and Stars, easily identified by its sign, a wooden shield boasting a, car a curved blade against a field of stars. A handwritten scrawl on the margin notes that the sign is currently not in place. The inn is comfortable, quiet, and highly recommended for travelers seeking to recuperate from their journey. Expect unassuming fare at a reasonable price, moderately clean rooms, and passable clean patrons. The Blushing Mermaid. For those seeking an altogether rowdier night in the city, the Blushing Mermaid should be the first port of call. Named for the life-size wooden mermaid on display, this inn is known for its ill-reputed patrons, frequent brawls, and altogether unsavory reputation. Nevertheless, I feature it here owing to great interest from my readership. I can only advise that you exercise extreme vigilance should you choose this establishment. El Song Tavern. Most of this passage is illegible due to water damage. Apart from the words and phrases nearest to the inner margins. Dimly lit, proper alum, disembodied elvish singing voice. Got an acid vial? Wait, who was holding the vials? Um... I'll take that. These can be sent. That? No. Letter. For the eyes of Sir Frigo Atuna only, greetings and so forth, I am writing to you on the most auspicious day, making... Marking my sixth year of grateful employing your service, I have enjoyed and believe I have performed admirably each moment of these duties, and hence I have a simple request, an increase in salary of one gold piece, six silver and nine copper per month. This has been precisely calculated to augment my rather humble lifestyle in accordance to a raising, to the rising cost of living, and a little bit of extra money for nice bread. I do so love good, a good loaf. It would perhaps behoove me to mention that Ceres Caress are offering very competitive rents for janitor janitorial staff at the moment, if that is all, if that at all sways your decision, though I am certain your very generous souls needs no such encouragement. Yours in health and sickness as per the usual, as per the terms of my contract. Wow. He wants a raise. Diary of Fionn Goldgrind. 
A new, mostly blank book with only a handful of diary entries. I've not written a diary before. Dashkent said it might do wonders to settle my mind. Maybe distance is just what happens when the weans grow up, but it's still hard. My boys never left that nest before, really never cared to. I know he's older than most who still live with their moms, the mams, but I've never cared about that, and I don't think he has either. It's just he acts so differently, too. Secretive, rude, brash. Gods, I don't know about this. Maybe Dashkent was wrong. I don't feel better at all. The diary... <coughs> Hidden rules of Baldur's Gate. The book's central argument is encapsulated in a chapter devoted to Real Sa Rail, Guild Kingpin of Little Kalim Shan. Another time in another place, Real Sa Rail would be celebrated as a revolutionary. In Baldur's Gate, in her own life, she's known as a crime lord, a kingpin of the guild, ruling over the city within a city that is a district of Little Kalim Shan. Rilsa's story began when she was orphaned at a young age. Her father was hanged by the flaming fist for sheltering his fugitive brother. Soon after, her mother was denounced by the jealous wife of a part. Oh, they said it last episode. Uh, <clears throat> Patriar? And imprisoned in the sea tower where she perished. Alone in the world, she had learned two valuable lessons. When the law is corrupt, it is necessary. It is a necessary necessity for those without the support of his enforcers to act outside it, and when the law is brutal, it is eth it is an ethical duty to act against it. Operating from within the Callum Jewel Emporium, Rilsa knows the value of everything and everyone that moves through Baldur's Gate. She controls a wide network of agents who observe and track the exchange of goods and information as closely as any merchant or politician, but secondhand knowledge is cheap. Rilsa's trick is, real trick is to draw those with secrets to share directly into her orbit. At her Garden of Whispers, Information can be shared with the guild anonymously. Anyone with the grudge to bear or a com competitor to bring low, that is to say anyone of importance, can assure that the whole city knows their grievance. It is said that if somebody speaks of your weak spot in the garden at dawn, you can expect to find a knife buried in that exact spot before night falls. Interesting. The Illustrated Adventures of Baldurin. This book is packed full of tales of adventure. The monsters are ferocious, the men muscled, and women are buxom, and the clothing is easily torn. <laughs> oh, God. That's hilarious. Something is cleft in Tuan on every other page, although you do find a passion that's a little less bloody. The woman's eyes were dusky, filled with a mystery and promise. Baldurin was intrigued. Anything, he asked. Anything, she said. Just name it, it can be yours. And what do you want in return? Oh, just a small thing, she smiled. But Durin laughed. Nothing about him was small. Shh. Bro! I want your soul, Baldurin, she sighed. Give me your spirit, and whatever you desire shall be yours. Baldurin considered this for a moment. Very well. I want a turnip. She hesitated. Your soul in exchange for a turnip? A nice turnip, nodded Baldurin. Very well. Dark smoke smirled around the women, whose skin was turning red. Then you shall... The next couple of pages have been torn out. When the story resumes, the woman, now fully revealed as a devil, is kneeling at Baldurin's feet. What? Curse to you, Baldurin. I am bound to you. Yours to call upon when you need me, and your soul is your own once more. Let that be a lesson to you, laughed Baldurin. Never underestimate the power of a turnip. What the hell? I want to know what happened. The True and Impossible Adventures of Tinnebrook's Morrow, Volume 2? I don't know if we read Volume 1. An excerpt from The True and Impossible Adventures of Tinnebrook's Maro, a people serial following the real-life exploits of an interplanar ship's captain, the real Captain Maro is known to never to have left her native water deep and emerges from her room at the yawning portal only to exchange scrawled manuscripts with fresh meals and ink. And thus, in the light of the Feywild's never-setting never sun, we pass into the land of the El Eladrin. My astute resolution to sail around these horrors was betrayed. It seems to me that the river itself conspired to change course, bringing the new bride into the shadow of the trees that I might see those dancing figures up close. The form of, a, of the Eladrin, with which I am now intimately familiar, is that of Alice as seen as in a, fewer, in a fever dream. Slender as wands with their hair of every changeable hue, their moods mirror that fey wilderness from which they spring one moment, gentle as a still pond, the next inexorable oh god the words inexorably inexorable and deadly as a falling mountain the later i experience only after spending many agreeable hours or perhaps seasons among them 
A halfling woman employed among my crew as a smith dared to raise her voice in song above that of our host. The depth of the insult became clear as the forest fell into silence, and it was only quick thinking on my part that de delivered a, comp a compromise. When we left, it was without our smith, and the only sound was the solitary ring of her hammer as she endeavored to forge a blade that would sing for the El... 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 Eladrin. <laughs> More sweetly than she. It's been some centuries since. I hope she has succeeded by now. Holy shit. Alright, we can send all these back. Oh. Bro. I forgot to, um, keep that note. So maybe we'll slip on to camp real quick so I can read that note. Where's our boxes? Time to press ahead. Here it is. Urgent report for Duke Ravengard priority entry. We sure they won't be attacked here. Grand Duke Ravengard eyes only. After marching west from Moonrise Towers, the absolute forces took Anga Veld and then split into two wings. One wing consisting mainly of bugbears and human mercenaries and the brigands, and ha has remained north of the uh, Chianthar and is traveling west on the Skull Dusk Road, threatening Tempest's tears, which by the time you read this has probably already fallen. The second wing, mostly goblins of the Seven Tribes, bolstered by hobgoblins, crossed to the southern bank of the river and is marching west past Sunrise Spire. Ultimately threatening Riverington and Worms Crossing. Both wings are commanded by Cadras, a renegade drow officer, easily identifiable during daylight hours by their broad brimmed shade hats. There are notably fewer of these officers in the ramshackle southern wing, and I think the goblins would be vulnerable to ambush in the field south of Rivington. But little do they know, Raven Guard's not even walking about. Oh, I didn't mean to read. Um, yeah. Why are they highlighted and why is everyone highlighted? Alright, that's all I wanted to do. I don't know how I got everything highlighted. How do I stop that? Oh. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, we need to find about the bur the murder body. The body murder. 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 What's in this room? Apparently we can go in. Confuses me for a member. Alright, we can go in here. Oh, it's the bath! Can I not get in the bath? That would be so nice if I could. Breathe quiet. Move Ooh, that sponge. Alright, I think we need to go up Constant here. Down. I'm trying not to listen to what's happening like on the outskirts of this place. I'm just trying to focus on what's in here. <laughs> what the hell? Obviously, there's a room here. <laughs> Have to keep going. There. I'm kind of glad I have a star in right now because, you know, he can, um. Should be easy. Hey, 
can do it. Oh, he can't. What? Can we give you a bonus this time? Double 11. 26. Just barely. Interesting. Secret room! Oh my god. A patron, a oh, I guess we could have got up here a different way, but you know. No traps, please. Malice. Woo. Are those organs in these files? <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. Surgery kit. Okay. Near the bed. The hell's unleashed. Well, I meant to read it. Shit. Nine steps to his infernal throne. This chapter lists each of the hell's nine layers and their rulers, and the character of the associated ritual item required to scribe but a glimpse of it. Um, Avernus, Archduchess Zariel, Heliotrope, Heliotrope, encasing shard of bone. Dis, Archduke, Dispater, or of infernal iron. We have that. We could scry on Dis. Minaros, Archduke, Mammon, single gold coin, petrified and acrid. Pete, Pete. <laughs> Try to figure out how to say this fellow Gethos, Archduchess Fernia, and her father, Archduke Belial, ever burn ash perfectly balanced on a scale of stone. So she, this one doesn't have one. Saigia, Archduke Levi Leviastus, a single coil black eye frozen in a shard of its own tears. Malbolg, Archduchess Glacia, Glacia, a coronet stained with blood of three rightful rulers. What the hell? Maladonimi, Archduke Basilbub, Basilbub, Gorian Fly, fed fat with the petitioner's blood. Cania, Archduke Mephistopheles, a singular and precious text burned. Nessus, Lord Osmodius, all known subjects, substances result in immediate disappearance of petitioner. Oh god. Oh gosh. We have a bloodstained note. Oh, we got Might conversation. Some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. Try to discern the source of the blood. I suck at it, but maybe we'll get lucky. I guess we did get lucky. You notice the blood source. A body hidden <gasps> under the bed. Pull out the body. Who we got? I don't mind it. Oh. Well, I do. We read. We read Which the diary of this person. To the best of wives and mana, tarnishing and grave falling. Damn. All right, we'll speak with the. It's identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. Okay, hang on. Let's say no. Two hands now, two hands. Two of them. More needed. Not enough. Must cover myself in glory to be covered in blood. More. Well, that's weird. In a I don't the easy path. Oh my god, a star and just standing there scared me. I'm sorry. I was like, huh? <laughs> this letter's torn and stained and some of the words are indecipherable. Take the... This, find the V, make them offerings in his name, bring I'd their hands to the, and uh, yeah, prove your worth, become of the highest sec uh, highest accord. Simple plans. These tunnels were full of shapeshifters. Father Logan's name is written here too. Let's see, parchment. Nasty splatters of deep red brown adorn the scrap of parchment. Those wishing to face the d Dread Lord's Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on the list and frame the corpses as a murder by the Cult of the Absolute. 
Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing, walking blood, experience. Duke Baleen. Okay, I'm not gonna say their whole name, but killed. Father Lorgan killed. Dribbles the clown. Why was he one of them? Killed. Alexander Rainforest killed. France Pear Tree killed. Cora Highbury, Large Home Nil Bartle's Mouth, Gazette, Lower City. Okay, these are the ones that have not been killed. Diego Pennygood, Chef Rover, Nesha Alicia, Vari Van Thumper. Oh shit, can we take this? Four journals just updated. Oh my god, sheep butchered with creative zeal. Bro, four journals just updated. A ballless target list. <laughs> Impress the mur murder tribunal. If we kill two targets from the list and bring a severed hand as proof. Oh! Maybe on our dirge playthrough when we're evil we could do that? Father Lorgan names appear on a list, our target list we found. Try, time has run them to the test for cultists to assess the Temple of Ball. We should show Investigator Valeria. That's an interesting... I would love to have seen the other side of this in our second playthrough. We found the Lair Ballas murderer in Frago's Flophouse. The target list in the Lair details the killer's instructions. Slay specific Baldurians and frame the absolute for it. Father Lorgan, priest of the nearby open hand, tipples a name on the list. Perhaps we should warn someone. So we solved the murder. Oh god, there's like, there's a lot of things going on here. I need to get Lizelle with us then. To do this. Before we go over there. But we're not... Ooh. Scarlet leather armor. I'm stealing your shit. I don't care. You're a murderer! I want to speak with the dead with the body here. So we will. Uh, ma ma ma, let's go. regards you lifelessly what were you how did you die murdered by my son it had to have been Oren. filial betrayal is it a tale as old as the gods themselves okay I don't want to mess up we could ask, what does your son look like? Yeah. What does your son look like? Dwarf. Like <gasps> me. Dresses in red. I see our killer. What were you doing when you died? Seeking answers. Ah. Uh, so maybe it wasn't Orin. Maybe this dude was also just a ballus. Ballus. Can I find your son? The corpse remains silent. Shit. It does not know. What answers, answers did you seek? My boy had a secret. Evil secret. The spell's power yeah. wanes. He's a ballist. No question. Ball is life. I cannot wait. <laughs> We would be for it, I think, as a dirge. I don't know. Alright. Well, we know what we need to do. So, Valeria's over here at... This must be the tavern, maybe? I don't want to go here yet. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to go out there either. Um, how do we... How do we get out of here? I know there's a ladder, but where? Oh. Right here. Yeah. I don't mind it. Bro. It's a bigger conspiracy. No, go down, please. Human 
rich gods. Hear me out. Dump the lot of This place is real shabby. But at least folk don't look at you funny in here. Need anything? Um, I think I just might sell some stuff. I mean, I don't know why I would keep any of this, to be honest. Just gives me 89. Thank you. Pleasure doing business. Okay. At least a double bed. It has plenty of spare beds. So where do we need to go? Found with ten other people, and pray none of them has sticky fingers. Oh, this is all Charest Caress? Life is your birthday. You deserve to cut loose. The librarian does this thing with her whip. I on all fours and... Uh, what? What the hell? This dude looks like a merchant. Hello. Finest fish caught this morning. What will it be? Why are you covered in blood? Oh, because of the fish? He really does just have fish. Cool. Come back soon. Fresh catch every day, guaranteed. He's just trying to make a living here. What's happening over here? Jurassic's caress isn't just about wetting. Why is some people so strange about Charesse's caress? It's just sex. Oh. It's just sex. Why don't you talk to her again? People are just walking into Charesse's caress like it was any old business. No disrespect to you, of course, if you're a patron. <laughs> We're not queuing for Charesse's caress. Not yet, anyway. Oh. Head on in. Okay, so Charesse's caress is a, a sex place. All right. Apparently, that's where I need to go for a lot of things. So maybe we'll just keep to the road for the time being. Hello. You look like someone whose soul needs feeding. Care to buy some art? Maybe. Oh, you have dyes. I don't know why I would want paintings. Feywild green and dun dye. Hmm. It only gives us two. I really like the name Bloody Plum, but I do not like the colors Bloody Plum gives me. Do come again. Thank you, sir. Maybe I should just see what's over here. Loves honey. I'd recommend certified. If you're here to shop, just buy what's needed, all right? Some people are panic buying. Let's not add to the problem. That's typical of a emergency. Like people in the south when it snows. Buys up a month's worth of stuff. The absolute armies are coming. We need to stock up. <laughs> Stock up for what? Hello, Belson Oaks. Fruit, 
Vegetables? What can I do you for? I don't know. Let me see what you got. He literally only has fruits and vegetables. Nope. If you're hungry. Thank you. Does the hand it make you feel better? The lips the tongue. If your mind needs some. Oh. I, I got it. I got it. And thanks. Of course. Set your worries at ease. I'm, uh, I'm not doing anything. I mean, uh, good day to you. Dude, chill. You're acting so suspicious. I'm assuming this is someone that works at the Charest Caress. Yo, this uh, looks like someone lives here. <laughs> this is what that looks like. happening in here. These shady refugees. Oh, they're not letting us into Baldur's Gate. Is this where Baldur's Gate's at? Well, where am I? Still alive, so that's progress. I know there's a chest over here, so let's go over here. That we maybe can jump to? If these people weren't in the way, they're sleeping on the frickin' edge? What'd they fall in? This is crazy. Dantholin's dancing axe. The Harper safe house Jahira mentioned. Like, Jahira's with us, though. Where are my people? No. No? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, you can just walk through here. Okay. Oh. Why is it looking like that? Because I'm on the lower level? Come on, us. Bro. Okay. So we got quite a few things to look at here still. And I think I might bring this episode to a close. Before we dive into something else, I know it's been like a slow episode, but I feel like that's for the best for me right now. Um, we will investigate Charessa's caress in the next episode. Uh, we're probably gonna have to go get Lazale. Lazale. And we need to report our findings to Valeria. Also, my game seems to be like weirdly lagging. I wonder if it's just because of this place, or if I need to fix my computer. So I would like to do that. Um, but this is also a very interesting um, direction if we want to impress the Myrtle Tribunal and be evil, I'm assuming. Temple Ball. We ballin'. That's what I'm gonna name that playthrough. We ball. <laughs> it's spelled like ball. I think that'll be fun! I'm really excited to see what happens in this playthrough, though. We, um, found the murder, the murderer, well, the room where the murderer was, and a list. I still need to find, um, this dude. I wonder if he's at Suresh Caress? I forgot where he said he was going. We haven't found Mole yet, but we're not in Baldur's Gate, which I'm assuming uh -oh. Baldur's Gate is further this way where they're blocked off. So we're probably gonna have to do something, oops, over here or to get through somehow. I don't know, but we're gonna check out Suresh's Caress.
on the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.